Now, if you go to my stuff after you sign in, you'll see your previous work. And I can see my previous work from last week. Okay, and I go to create. And now I'm going to start my next project. Okay, so this week we're going to be working on a ping pong game. And you could make it different than me. I'll show you how I do it. And then you could create your own one as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the cat. And I'm going to put a background in. So I go over here to the, the backdrop. And I click a backdrop. And I pick what, you, what I want. So what, what would be a good backdrop for here? I'm going to pick Neon Tunnel. You don't have to do this. You pick what you want. Then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to search for a few things. Okay. So first thing I'm going to search for is I'm going to use a ball. You could use other things like an apple or a balloon if you want. I'll use the ball. And if you make a mistake, you just click the garbage can and you can get rid of it. So I'll use the ball. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a paddle. There's a paddle. Go down. They're in alphabetical order. Paddle right here. Okay, so we got a ball and we got a paddle. Next thing we have to do is we have to draw in a red line. And our red line is going to stop the game. So if the ball hits the red line, it's going to stop the game. So I go here to the little cat and I go to the uh, paintbrush and I'm going to change the color to red. And you pick the color that you like. It's your game. Make it to red. You can make it bigger if you want. Make it a big size. And you could do a paintbrush or you could just make a straight. Oh, sorry about that. You do a straight line here. And I'm going to. Up and I'll make that red. Make that uh, red. take this down like this and I put this down at the bottom of the game okay so now I have my red line at the bottom of the game and now I'm going to um, create our code and if you don't want to use the paintbrush you could use the line you could use the line to to create the line but I just used the paintbrush quickly so now we have to put in our code okay so let's look at the paddle first okay, I'm going to lose, use the paddle and we're going to go code and events and notice where, where I clicked on the paddle so this means this code is going to be for the paddle okay if I click on the ball the codes for the ball so we're doing the paddle first say when clicked okay what do we want to do when clicked where do we want the paddle to start I want the paddle to start down here so you see the numbers x negative 45 y negative 87 I go to motion when clicked go to and they put the numbers in here for us, negative 45, negative 87. If I wanted to start here, see it's negative 13, negative 105. I could do that here. Negative 13, negative 105, negative 105, right? Okay. And then we're going to do this. We're going to do control forever. And we're going to say go to, go to mouse pointer. Go to mouse pointer so this is random we got to change this to mouse pointer so what is our code saying what our code is saying is when the flags clicked the 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 little paddle is going to go to here and then after that wherever i move the mouse pointer that's where the paddle is going to go so let's see if i if i put this over here and i click the flag it's going to go down here because that's our code when flag clicked go down here and then forever go towards mouse pointer so now i go like this and now you see it's, it goes wherever the mouse pointer goes okay does everybody see the mouse pointer and the paddle are moving in the same places, okay? So this is how we start a game, and to stop it, you click on the stop, and then it's, it's no longer under control. So that's our paddle, and now we have to do the ball, and the ball is going to be a little bit more active, okay? So now we go click on the ball, right? So notice the paddle, we have the paddle over here, and now we have the ball. Now let's do the ball. When clicked, okay? Because the ball is going to start when the flag's clicked. First thing we have to do is we have to do point in direction. We're going to do point in direction. And we're going to do point in direction 45. So we make this 45. See, we have different ones you could do. We're going to make this 45. Okay, point in direction 45. That means the ball is going to spin a little bit. 
Now we have to do a variable. A variable is something that can change, okay? So what, watch this, this is, gets a little tricky. I'm gonna go to variable down here. I go to variable and I'm gonna do make a variable, okay? Variable, make a variable, and I'm gonna call it the score. Call the score, click okay, and we're gonna say set score to zero. So this is saying when the game starts, make the score zero. You've played games with the score before, we're making a scoreboard here. So when the game starts, set the score to zero. Now we have a forever loop, okay? Just like in code.org, we had repeat. Now we're gonna have basically repeat forever. This is a forever loop. Move 10 steps, move 10 steps, and then we're gonna say if on edge, bounce. If on edge, bounce. So this means forever, the ball's gonna be moving, but if it gets to the edge, it's gonna bounce. So we don't want the ball going off our screen, right? So forever, the ball's gonna be moving 10 steps, and if it gets to the screen, it's gonna bounce, okay? Now we have to make the game that if it touches the paddle, it's gonna do stuff. So let's just see if we don't have the paddle first. Let's just click this. Now we have our flare going. The ball moves, right? But nothing's happening, right? The ball moves, the score's at zero, the ball's moving, it's bouncing off the edge, but now we have to make it that it bounces off the paddle. See, it is not working. So let's do the code so that the ball bounces off the paddle. So that's gonna be conditional, okay? Conditional is if-then statements. Okay, conditional, it's gonna be in the forever loop, okay? Conditional forever if touching a paddle. Touching, and you take this and like this. If touching paddle, forever, if touching paddle, and then what do you want it to do? First, we want it to make a sound. We want to make it a pop sound when it hits the sound. So we go to sound, and we're going to have to, oh, they gave it to us here, right here, amazing. They gave us the pop sound. And you could use a different sound if you want. You can go to sounds here, and you see like this, and you go like this, and search, and you could search if you want one of these instead. But I'll use the pop sound. So uh, we're going to start the pop sound. Okay, so if it's touching the paddle, it's gonna make a sound, okay? And then we also want it to change color. Change color. Okay, and you, you don't have to do this exactly, you could do it in your own way. And then we want it to turn. We want it to turn, and how much are we gonna make it turn? We're gonna make it turn 190, because we want that ball to flip around. 190, and you could change this around, do your own thing, and we're gonna have it wait. And control, wait, and don't make it one second, make it period one. Point one second, that means one tenth of a second, okay? Don't worry if this pops up. If this pops up, you could download your project, okay? So we'll try again, and let's see if it works. If it doesn't work, we have to download our project. So, now we have point one, and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna say, when it uh, touches the paddle, what you wanna do is you wanna change your score. So you go to variables, and you're gonna say change score, by one. So you go down here and change score by one. Okay? So now we have our game working. Let's see how it goes first. I'll put my sound on. I click the flag, and when I click the flag, the paddle is going to move, right? Remember, we did that. The paddle moves, and the ball's going to move. And when it touches the paddle, it's going to play the pop sound. It's going to change color. It's going to rotate, and then it's going to change the score. So let's take a look how it goes so far. Okay, so now we got it working here. It's changing the color, it's changing score, right? The one thing I wanna do is I wanna make it, if it touches red, it stops. I want the game to stop when it touches red. Now I gotta clean this up here because it got a little bit of a red over there. So I'm gonna click on the backdrop and I'm gonna go to backdrops here. And, oh, I know where it was, that was over here. Okay, so I'm gonna clean this up over here and I'm just gonna erase this here so this is not there. Okay, so that's gone, I, know, I, I didn't want that there. Anyway, I go back to code, and now we want to add in that the red line, if the ball touches the red line, it stops the game. So we go to the ball, and we'll just move this over a little bit more, and we'll do when clicked. we we'll do when clicked, and we're going to say forever. Let's say forever. And we say if, if, and we'll do sensing sensing if touching color now here's the tricky part okay so everybody watch here if touching we did this with the shipwreck game if touching and you click here and you do the pink a, a little dropper if touching the red if when and what do you want to happen if the ball's touching the red 
If the ball is touching the red, you want to control, you want to stop the game. Stop all. Now, sometimes kids get confused and they put that stop all in a different place. It has to be in the conditional block. So if touching red, say stop all. And notice this has got to be the exact red. I click here, I do paint drop, and I click down here. Okay, and then stop all. Okay, so now let's look at our game. We click play, set score to zero. The ball changes colors, it goes up, right? I'm, my score is going up, it's changing color, it's making sound, everything's going good, and I wanna see what happens if it touches the red. So now we'll do it if it touches the red. Let's see if we can get it to touch the red. The game stops. Now you can make the game harder, right? You can make this a 25. Now, now the ball's gonna go faster. Whoa. Okay. Another thing you could do is you could change the points. I could say I get 20 points every time it's hit. Now let's, now let's try the game. Okay, so it's your game. Do the best you can, okay? It's you. you could do whatever you want with your game. You could have a different background. You could use balloons instead of a ball. You could use something else instead of a paddle. Use different colors, put, put a different background. So do what you want for your own game. When you're done, you're gonna just put over here paddle game. And then you can put your name after it, Paddle Game and Name, and make sure you click Save Now, Paddle Game and Save Now, right? If you have problems saving, you could do File, and then uh, uh, Save to Your Computer. So if you have problems saving your game, do File, Save to Your Computer, okay? That way you could have a backup as well. But if you just, if you're able to do File, Save Now, File, Save Now, it will save it in your account. And then when you go to My Stuff, all your projects will be there. When you're done with your projects, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take a photo of each of these two sprites, okay? So first you take a photo of this and you upload to Google Classroom and then you take a photo of this and you upload it to Google Classroom. That way I could see your code and I can examine your code to see if it needs debugging.